Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to the Fox in the Woods. We're here on another beer run, and uh, today we're going to be trying something a little more, maybe not mainstream, but a little more well known. So, um, thank you. This is a massive shout out to Karen. Thanks, Kaz. Um, you yeah, know, she uh, donated a few beers to the beer, beer fund, and um, you yeah, know, these are things that I think she thought I'd like to try. So, thank you very much. Uh, today we are trying out a stone and wood green lager, so a green coast lager. So what that actually is, I am unsure. But we're going to give it a crack. So stone and wood have been around for a little while now. Um, probably, you probably tried one of their uh, their Pacific ales. Pretty nice drop. But um, bound to find out. Now the only thing with bottles it just doesn't have that clunk clunk noise that uh, just like from the camp from opening up but oof, here we go so this is supposedly good for all year round so you know I'm round and I'm willing to give it a go super clean <laughs> clean and crisp okay right so, so <laughs> we go back to looking here clean and crisp and I'll tell you what after this some of the, the hazy IPAs and stuff we've been drinking lately. This is clean. Look how clear that is. Like, I can see the camera through there. That is, um... Love a little drop. And a little bit of citrusy flavour. Light on the malt. Light on the, um, the hops as well. But like you're definitely like an easy drinking beer. I think these things are getting in trouble, eh? Oh, that's pretty good, eh? Lager's nice. So it's 1.2 standard drinks in your yeah your standard 330 mils for the sort of um, mid strength sort of beers. Well, not mid strength, I guess, but um. And it's pretty it's pretty average in that sense, so yeah, that's it's normal. But um yeah. Definitely clean. I I never really understood what they sort of mean by that. It's like yeah, yeah, whatever. But really after having drinking some of the other beers lately, this is a nice change. It's not something I would normally have um, gone and grabbed out for myself. But I think I'm going to enjoy it. So, I'd say maybe an eight, eight, eight out of ten. Easy drinking, that's for sure. Stone and Wood Green Coast Lager. Get them, check them out. Give them a go if you're into lagers. This is um, this is probably like I wouldn't say on the upper end of the scale, but I mean um, compared to all the standard beers that are out there, I think you'd be very happy with this. That's for sure. So if you're into lagers, give them a crack. We know their Pacific Ale is good. So is their uh, Green Coast Clean and Crisp Lager. So. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Thank you very much. Catch you later. Like, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to drink, so. I had a, um, I did have a suggestion from a friend of mine. He um, subtly sent me a message showing me the different sort of beer. I'm almost a little nervous to try it, so we'll see if it uh, comes out next time, maybe. So, Clint, stay, stay tuned. I think it's because he's too chicken to try it himself. See you later.